Number 67, Corey Cron. Here's Tim Joy and Cron. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really humbled by this award. You know, it's a good honor for me. It's a really good thing for me. I, being the only person in school history to get this award twice, the AFCA All-American team twice, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome to me. It's a good feeling, especially you know coming into school. I knew like Brian Kurtz and Tim Farrell and Danny Carter, all getting those awards as well. And those are great athletes. You know, I never really thought that I would be in a class filled with them as well. You know, but I'm really humbled too. You know, I really, this award really wouldn't have been possible you know, without my coaches. That every person on my team, like I really thank my people on my team, my teammates. I mean, they their hard work and their dedication throughout my years, pushing me, making the best athlete I can be. You know, it's really, I really want to thank them. I mean, it, it, they're they're a great group of guys, and you know, I wouldn't want to play with anybody else but those guys. You know, and it took a lot of hard work to get there too. I mean, I've been here five years. I'm a fifth year senior. You know, I stayed here every summer, worked out. Coach Miller always wanted to make sure that I was here, staying up here, pressed me to stay my summer, my freshman year, and I did, and I'm glad I did, because I wouldn't, probably wouldn't be here today if I wasn't staying up here working this summer, pushing cars up hills and running up steep embankments, Coach Miller's conditioning and stuff like that, and it really kind of pushed me to that next level to be a better player and be a better athlete. It was a nice thing, you know, I'm, I just finished school up yesterday, you know, academically I've been here four years, kind of started out rough a little bit freshman year, but really close, pretty strong the last three years I was here, and nice to get a college degree, I'm the only one really in my intermediate family to actually graduate from college, which is another, you know, honor to me, proud for me to say I did that, you know, plus while doing football, and then the last year for me I've been really busy, I mean, I, I had football, I had school, and then I, I worked my way into getting a job. And on the Auburn Police Department, I was a reserve, and then also another job working at the Cap County Jail. So like I've been really busy the last year, so trying to balance and everything, and still being able to get this award and you know finishing up everything. It's really, I'm really like I'm proud, but you know I'm humbled by it too. I mean it just shows like what hard work and dedication can really do for you throughout your life. You know, one of the main reasons I came to St. Francis was because, you know, I wanted to win games. I didn't want to go to a program where I went 1-11 every year and 2-8, two or four, two and eight. you know, I, I wanted to come to a team that we're going to win, and St. Francis is a team that wins games. And that tradition that has been built here since late 90s all the way to this year is still here today. You know, they pull in great athletes every year, you know, and it's great to be a part of that tradition and part of that atmosphere where you know and expected to win games. Like, if you don't win games, it's like, it's a fallout, like it's, you don't do well. And then, that's not what I want to be a part of. I want to be a part of a team that you know, won games. And being in St. Francis and building that tradition and continue to build that tradition, and since I'm still up here and I get to see that tradition continue to be built, like it's, it's a good honor and it's something I will remember for the rest of my life. And I'll always be tied to this school and I'll always be tied to this facility here in football and like with the coaches, which is a great feeling, a great thing to know that you know, every time I come back here, I'm going to be welcomed. And it's a good feeling to have. You know, one thing I just really want to thank is, you know, I just want to thank Coach Donnelly. He's been a great head coach for my four or five years I've been here. Coach Miller, my offensive line coach, they both really pushed me to be the best athlete I could be. You know, my parents, obviously, my mom's always on me, pushing me. Mom pushed me through high school to be the best athlete I could be, so I really want to thank her a lot. And then, like I said, all my teammates and my friends that have been here, we all push each other and all our dedication. You know, we play, bleed, sweat, and cry together after all of our games, you know, so it's all of us together as one. and it's just. Really want to thank all of you guys. Love you guys too.